ITFK season 1 ended on BFTI 25, but I was washing the dishes and a notification came up. It was called BFTI 26, Flowers Revenge. I was really excited and ready to watch this episode like every other episode of BFDI, but well, but I was excited that I was able to watch more BFDI normal intro. But when I clicked on it, the uh, the episode began with the normal intro. When the uh, when the and when the episode started with Flower, really angry as Nora like normal, looking at all the other contestants. Then all, uh, then all of a sudden, she takes out a knife and says, You guys, uh, you guys have been messing with my life for the longest time ever. You guys have killed me, killed me for no reason. And now, uh, and now, it's time for me to kill you, she said. Then something flashed on screen, and I can't see what it was. But uh, when I rewind frame by frame, I saw something that made me want to cry and vomit at the same time. It was a picture of paper from Inanimate Insanity, but what made it so chilling was that paper was all white, and so was the foreground, and the background was white, but I swear, somewhere was huh, somewhere within it. I thought I saw blood. As disgusted as I was, I continued watching. By the way, I took a uh, I took a picture of it on my iPhone and still have the picture, and I'll show you when I get it, it, the chance to post this. And trust me, it looked disgusting. Flower killed Bubble with a knife. Bubble popped, her organs and blood splattering everywhere, and on the other contestants who scream and ran frantically. Then she skinned Pencil. When Matt saw Pencil, who was fleshly, who was fleshly and disembodied, Matt screamed and yelled, OMG, that was like brutal flower. Stop. Flower just chuckled demonically and used her two knives to gash out her eyes while her blood curdling scream echoed through my room. Flower didn't care, she just wanted to get revenge. Right after that happened, Flower suddenly took out eight knives and threw them at all of the, all of the contestants. Well, once they were dead, Flower chuckled demonically and said, Every contestant is taken care of. Now all that's left is announcer. Then the screen cut her cut to flower and her in front of announcer, and she was yelling out this while in reverse. I can make a promise. Then the then then the screen then the scene cut to static for 12 seconds while the scary scream was playing. Then the hun then the. Scene cut to announcer cut open from side, uh, from the side, with bloody flesh and organs spewing out. I also swear I saw some wires coming out of that thing. Then it cut to flower, and now she looked demonic. She was covered in blood. She had uh, she had an organ in her mouth and arm. Eyes creepily widened to impossible sizes, with the bloody eyeballs of pencil seeming, uh, seemingly forced in there, and the gory bodies of the contestants surrounded her. This awkward silence continued for a minute, and then the episode ended. I can't take it anymore. I sent the BFDI crew an email about the episode. Two weeks later, I got a response, and it said, One thing, how in God's name did you find that? We don't know how this could have happened. Matt, yes, that's my name. Thanks for telling us. We saw this guy named Tyler the Creator near our front door, and we thought this guy might be nice for me helping us make episodes of BFDI. But then two days later, he was thinking about the uh, he was thinking about the event where his parents, Martin, uh, Mark and Susan, 
got killed in a soda factory when Tyler and his parents are in a tour to the factory. So he came up with horrible ideas. In 2012, Tyler noticed that season one was ending and passed this uh, passed off this episode as a season one finale. Then he uploaded the episode onto YouTube without thinking twice, and we kicked him out of our house. Fortunately, the finale was only on YouTube for four years before it got deleted. We're sorry for you being alive. Matt, we really are. Sincerely, Carrie and Michael Huang. Then I put the letter on the kitchen table and went to, and went to Jack and Jellyfy's videos. But the video wasn't there. It had been deleted. Thank God, I said as I no longer saw that episode of Jack and Jellyfy's videos. A few hours later, I looked, to, I looked up the episode again. I knew it was deleted, but I didn't know if someone had re-uploaded the episode or something. I then was thankful there was no re-uploads of it, and was no one... <coughs> And no one was talking about it because I never want to see or even talk about that cursed episode in my in my life. I have one more thing to say, which is which it is which is this: Do not watch Flowers' Revenge. If this episode is somewhere, don't watch it. Thank you for thank you for taking your time reading this. I hope you still I hope you still have a nice day. Frank was here.